Hey there, story lovers. Welcome to chapter three of our enchanting tale. Today, we're diving into the heart of Burlington during its magical winter festival. Picture this. The town is alive with lights and laughter, but there's an undercurrent of tension that you can almost feel in the air. The central square is bustling, and right in the middle stands a grand Christmas tree, its ornaments sparkling like stars. The townsfolk are gathered, their faces illuminated by the warm glow of the tree. It's a scene of beauty and anticipation, setting the stage for a day that's about more than just celebration. So, buckle up, because this chapter is about to take us on a journey of reckoning and transformation. Now, this reminds me of those classic tales where the hero stands on the brink of destiny. Maggie Thompson, with her bright green eyes and curly chestnut hair, is at the edge of the central square. The crisp breeze plays with her hair as she scans the crowd, feeling the weight of expectation. Beside her is Eli Carter, her best friend, his dark hair tousled and his blue eyes wide with a mix of excitement and apprehension. Are you ready for this? He asks, and Maggie nods, though her heart races. The lantern-lit procession is about to begin, a moment filled with anticipation and the promise of confronting the past. It's a scene that captures the essence of courage and friendship, as Maggie and Eli prepare to face whatever lies ahead. Oh, but here's where it gets really juicy. The townsfolk are gathered, their laughter mingling with the scent of pine and freshly baked goods from the local bakery. It's a scene that feels almost idyllic, yet there's an undercurrent of unspoken fears. Mayor Helen Grayson stands at the podium, her sharp features and tailored suit giving her an air of authority. But if you look closely, there's a flicker of vulnerability in her eyes. Today, we celebrate not just our past but our future together, she proclaims. Yet, Maggie can see the weight of her own history pressing down on her. It's a moment that speaks to the complexity of leadership and the burden of the past, setting the stage for the challenges that lie ahead. But what if I told you there's more to this festival than meets the eye? The spirit of Eliza Winter a figure woven into the town's lore, seems to hover in the periphery. As the lanterns are lit, casting a soft glow on the faces of the townsfolk, misunderstandings about the spirit's intentions begin to surface. It's a scene filled with mystery and intrigue, as fear and resistance ignite among the crowd. Old Man Hargrove, with his long white beard and twinkling eyes, stands at the back, a reminder of the stories that have shaped Burlington. It's a moment that captures the tension between past and present as the townsfolk grapple with the unknown. 